So in my quest to get the power windows on this 240D uh, working properly, I pulled this one out of the left rear door, and it's not saveable. It's extremely bent. Now, sometimes you might be able to straighten these up a little bit, but a lot of times they'll break. Remember, this is a pot metal, and it's very fragile. But the problem is these have been skipping teeth for quite some time, so the teeth are worn off, so there's no way to fix this. And guess what? You can't buy these new, you have to buy them used, and they're getting harder and harder to find good ones. It's like the rear ones are the ones that get extremely bent out of shape. <laughs> so yesterday, I remember that the rear regulators looked very, very similar to the W123, so I went and pulled one out of the SD, and sure enough, they are almost, I'm going to say almost exactly the same, and I was successful in taking a W116, that's the bigger S-Class model, I'm taking the power window regulator assembly out of that car, and I've been successful in putting in this W123. Now, some of you that have these W123s, you want to know this, in case you can't find one. It's very likely in the future, because these are going to get harder and harder to find. So this is the regulator that I removed from the 240D, which is a W123 chassis. And it's almost identical to the 116 chassis, late model, rear window regulator. Now, if I look at the part number, look at this. This will give you a clue. You look at the part number here on this W123 regulator, it says 116-730-2246. And that's exactly the same part number that was on the one that I pulled out of the 300 SD. Now there are a couple differences you're gonna to have to deal with. The primary difference is this rail right here. Now, this is the rail out of the W116. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you these side by side because I've already installed the W116 in the car, but I think I explained this to you. So on the 116, this comes on the end of the arm. And on the 123, there's a smaller one that's shorter. So what you have to do is you have to take the W123 regulator and grind the rivet off. You can see the rivet. You grind that rivet off and you take that arm off. But on the 116 arm, there's a little clip so you don't have to do any grinding. So if you follow me here, you just basically swap these rails between the two regulators. You get those all lined up, get this lubed up, and this is going to bolt right in to a W123, but there's one other modification you need to make. I've installed that regulator inside the rear door of this W123. I'm gonna give it a test here. I wanna make sure it's working all the way up and down, and I'll use my power probe here. Okay, we'll switch it over here. Okay, good. Now, there's one other modification you're going to have to make, though, because look, when I try to plug these wires into the W123 plug, they're different. And I'm going to pull up this 123 window regulator again. And here you can see the difference. The ones out of the W116 are at right angles, so there's no way. They're also smaller in diameter. The ones out of the W123 are straight, so I'm going to have to cut here and cut here, and then I'll just use some splicers to rewire this, and then I'm going to put the plug in and we'll test it again. When you do this splice, you want to make sure it's not too close to the switch. You need to have these butt connectors kind of tucking in right here because the switch is going to go down in there, so you don't want those splice connectors right close to the switch. You can see why right here. So let's test this. Okay, down, up, oh, that's great, I have a working rear window now. I've also gone up front, it's working from the front switch and it's also doing the child lockout. I've also lubricated everything in this door. I have one final thing to do and that's of course to work on the door locks. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, well why do these get all bent out of shape? Look at that. Look at how bent that is right in there. No wonder it can't go up and down. What I've learned from years of working on these cars, if you want your window regulators, particularly on your older models to last, 
Number one, you have to get in those doors every four or five years and get everything lubricated. And number two, and this is really important, when you run the window up and down, don't run it all the way up full speed until it hits the stop. People do that and then they run it all the way down until bang, it hits the bottom and it eventually up and down with this abrupt movement tends to bend this pot metal frame. So just be gentle on your power windows. Run them up until they're almost closed and then just toggle them into position without abusing them. And that's gonna make these last a lot longer on your older Mercedes.